Now, there are a variety of opinions on whether to prune or not to prune. Lots of videos on the different types of tomatoes and the different ways in which they grow. I'm just going to keep it quick and simple and show you a strategy that will benefit most tomatoes. Keep in mind there are many ways of doing this. This is just what has worked for me. Here's a tomato plant before and after pruning. And now I'm going to show you what we pruned off and why. I'm going to start and focus on the base of the plant. If we look, we see immediately there's a leaf here that has some yellow and brown on it. Another one down here. I'm gonna to look to take those off. Usually at the base of the plant is where the trouble starts. Tomatoes are very susceptible to disease and fungus. So I'm gonna go in and take this one off. And what I'm really looking for is any branches that are touching the ground. Definitely don't want that because the ground can be a source of fungus and mold and other issues. Here's a leaf touching the ground. So I'm gonna go up and find the branch for that one and take it off. This one here, also touching the ground. You can see some browning on the leaves. I'm gonna take that one down as well. Another leaf here. Anything that's gonna to touch the ground, definitely wanna take that off. Another one here. Pull these out of here. Clear out the base. This will provide airflow for the tomato base and help prevent fungus and disease. Here's a leaf that is brown and yellow. It's not touching the ground. It's actually above the base but I'm gonna take it off as well. I don't want whatever that is potentially spreading to the rest of the plant. Here's a tomato plant before pruning. Here's what the tomato plant looks like after pruning, after taking out all the yellowing, browning leaves and any leaves and branches that were touching or reaching towards the base. So this is the amount of leaves and branches that I removed, you can see pretty good amount. And you can see the base of the plant here is now opened up down below here for airflow. One tip that I would say is when you do this, it does expose the plant to drying out a little bit faster. So to compensate for that, what I suggest is mulching around the base of your plant. This will conserve moisture in the ground, but also prevent it from splashing onto the leaves when you water the plant. So that's the key. The plant wants moisture, just not on the leaves. You want the moisture in the roots, in the ground. 